Hey Fit Fam! First off, I'd like to wish you all a very happy Easter from my family to you. Today on Neri's Kitchen, we have special guest Coach Hugo the Boss to share another four recipes anyone can make during quarantine. Hey guys, thanks for having me. Hope you're going to enjoy your time here. Uh, what I want to do today is show you four simple meals, Neri style, that's going to include different ingredients and different ways to cook it that benefit you. All right, so first we're going to do is a frittata. Ready to go? Let's that go. Ready to go. Okay, Let's great. get started. So we're going to get a pan going here. A pan? And I'm going to actually, because we have different meals going on, and I'm preparing for lunch and dinner at the same time, I'm going to start the things that take the longest to cook first. Um, for example, uh, I use barley, excuse me. I like to use barley instead of rice. Calorie uh, per gram is the same as white rice. Um, but there's a lot more fiber, there's a lot more protein, there's a lot more nutrients. So I like using barley a lot. Yeah, so it also gives like a nice nutty texture. I like that as well. So this takes a little while. It goes one portion to three cups of water, right? So if I use one cup of barley, I'm going to use three cups of water. I'm going to use half a cup. So I'm going to get Neri to give me half a cup here. Half a cup of barley. Barley, okay. That's right. And then you're going to use um, a cup and a half of water. Okay. I'm also going to get her to cut up some sweet potatoes in the oven because that takes a little time to oh, crisp sure. up. You'd be surprised that you actually don't need a lot of oil to make a nice crispy sweet potato in the oven. So we're just going to slightly spray the pan, chop it up, add some seasoning, and we're going to throw it right in the oven to go. All right. So while she does that, I'm going to get some eggs going. Guys, this is so fun. <laughs> this is so fun. I watch a lot of uh, YouTube videos on cooking, and uh, I feel like I can do this. All right. Onion and pepper. So for the frittata, anything with garlic, onion, salt and pepper, and you're a chef. All right, so I'm gonna have an onion, I'm gonna chop this up finely, I'm gonna have these guys, and I'm gonna chop them finely, and then we're gonna saute them first. So. And Hugo, what heat do I put the barley at? So I want you to boil that first. Oh, boil it, okay. And when it gets down to boil, you're gonna simmer and put a lid on it. Okay. Um, chef's trick for the barley and rice. Uh, this is actually my mom's idea. She would use a vegetable broth or uh, a beef broth or a chicken broth, whatever broth to flavor the water and that, that will flavor the rice or the barley as well. So if you want some, if you find that your rice is a little too boring with just water, you could add some salt and you could add some broths and it would be really good. So I'm going to get you to chop these up okay. quickly for me. I'm going to get a bowl. Chop I feel like I'm going too fast. I should probably slow this down. And how many mushrooms am I chopping? So I actually, um, I use about two, two full, uh, you want a little finer. Oh, like finer. Little, not finer, but smaller. Like oh, little, smaller. Little, little kind of cubes. Okay. They go a long way. I also linked um, the grams and the calories of every meal we have. It's going to be posted, I think. Right, RJ? It'll be posted somewhere. We'll probably, we'll help you out. We'll help you out. Okay. For, for this time, we're just going to eyeball it. Typically around uh, two mushrooms this size. Two would be mushrooms? around like... 35 grams. Okay. I will say you can use all this stuff. There's like what five calories in here. I'm exaggerating, but there's like really no calories. So you can go from there. I'm gonna get some eggs. I eat four. There. Get there. A nice hard hit on a corner. And you won't get any shells in. So you can also get going with the uh, um, the onion, if you could chop up the chop onion, onion, very, very similar to which you we should chop that up. And how much onion am I chopping? Like a, maybe a quarter of that. A quarter? Okay. Not even. Um, I'm going to season. There's a lot going on, huh, Jerome? <laughs> it's too much. Yeah, yeah, too much. It's too much. This is how you multitask and cook multitask. four meals at the same time. You know what? You know what? I, uh, I usually cook not for myself. How do I open this? Is this just this thing? Oh, there you oh go. yeah. I usually, uh, I usually cook not for myself. Uh, so I have a friend who, uh, who sometimes helps me out. Uh, now, but she, but I usually say something to get her really mad. So then I just cook by myself. <laughs> there's a, <laughs> there's a <laughs> hair of my cube <laughs> in the spatula. I'm gonna put that back though. <laughs> 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 All right, then I'm going to beat the eggs up. Oh, shit. Oh. So you just want to just 
get that low. <laughs> you can just, you can just uh, no, simmer that. No, I'm going to simmer it. Simmer that, put a lid on it, and we're just going to let that go for a while. Okay. We are up. live. We're live. <laughs> All right, let's see, Mark. Let that simmer let out. Let that simmer, yep. I'm going to beat up these eggs. I like to salt my eggs throughout. Always be seasoning. Okay, so Neri's had these all chopped up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just put a little bit of oil on that pan. Okay. And then we're gonna start sauteing. Saute, okay. She's gonna add some salt and pepper to that as well. Okay, so now we're on the frittata, right? So we're gonna just get this going. She's gonna saute these. And then once they kind of change the color, the onions get a little see-through, translucent. And then we are, we're good to go. We're gonna get a little bit of pepper in there as well. For the flavor. Add some pepper too? Yeah, we're gonna chop that up as well. But okay. well, I like to let this cook down first. I right? see, so okay. The pepper does not need to cook or very long. Right. It, it will get nice and soft and too soft very okay. quickly. While the onions and the mushrooms take more time to cook. Okay. Uh, mushrooms have a lot of moisture in them, so you kind of want them on a higher heat, and then all the moisture extracts, and that's where you get a nice brown color. And how much pepper should I top up? I'll do half of that. No, oh, maybe, yeah, right there. That's good. Okay. It'll get eaten. It'll get eaten. Yeah, it'll get eaten. It'll get and eaten. it's good for you. It's good for you. That's right. And I'm telling you what, this whole pepper, 20 calories. 20 calories. So we're not really worried about it. Like this is the, this is the, the, the calorie counting stuff that like, you shouldn't sweat these small stuff. I mean, the oils hit you in the face. Like a teaspoon of oil, which uh, is easy to use. That's like 150 calories right there, and that stuff adds up, right? You don't want to waste all your precious calories uh, on oils that are essentially just no nutrients, right? So if you have, if you have an, a, a olive oil, there's no nutrients in that. It's just fat. And while there is a purpose for that and it's really good, you don't want to use all your calories on that. Exactly. Right? So that's why. So we're going to get that going. She's going to chop it up finely. We're going to saute this one for a bit. We're going to add some salt and pepper in this one. Unless you did, did you do that? I did not, no, not yet. Yeah. And like true chef styles, we leave a mess everywhere we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's hard to be neat, I swear. I always try to be neat, but you're leaving spatulas, you're leaving forks everywhere. Yeah. And not that I'm complaining, but my friend who I cook for at home mm -hmm. doesn't even wash the dishes. Okay, that's different. Uh, no, no, that's different. Who is that, RJ too? RJ doesn't put his plate away sometimes. Laura said, did you call Sarah your friend again? I did. I did. <laughs> I did. She got so mad. She got so mad that I was calling my friend on that last podcast. And uh, you got you to gotta stand by your convictions, right? You got you to gotta let a joke ride as long as you can. <laughs> okay, so this is going to go a little bit longer still. Okay. We could... Um, Where's that cup, the measuring cup you had there? Oh, the measuring these. cup? these. I'm just going to put this in the cup for safe, just for the space. And then we're going to start, uh, we're going to preheat the oven to 400. Preheat. We're going to bake it? Uh, for the sweet potatoes. Okay. So bake it to 400. There you go. Okay. So we got that going. We can give this a bit of a wipe. And then chop the, the sweet potato? That's right. Okay. In one inch cubes? Well, we have one inch cubes. That's fine to me. Uh, probably half of that sweet potato though. Half of that. All right. So you can see that this is starting to change a little color here. Still got time to go, but you see, like, this is what I mean by translucent compared to, uh, this is like fully white. And some of these, you may or may not be able to see it yet, completely get a little more translucent. And that's, what, that's when you start to know it's ready. This mushroom here has still too much give to it, so we want to fry that off a little bit more. But as you notice, we didn't use a lot of oil for this. So we don't need to use a lot of oil for this. I think it was a tablespoon. I'm not sure. I've reported. For what, the oil? The oil, yes. Yeah, Very little. Fine. But I'm not going to put more oil in this. Mm -hmm. Live, huh? You're live. Can you say hi? I want to. I want to be able to talk to you. Yes. Let me know who's there. Yes. Let me know who's there, and we can interact. To my family, don't say anything. Don't say anything. this is not for you. 
Is Sarah live? Is Sarah live? Sarah, say hi if you're live. Hi, Sarah. But then after that, don't say anything. <laughs> 60, huh? There you go. Give me a hit 100. There we go, almost there. So I'm going to put this lid back on. Let's ask the audience to mention the one thing they're going to eat today for just to do. Yeah. Yeah, for, oh, let's, uh, can I get you guys to mention one thing you guys are going to eat for Easter dinner? And then maybe next time we could uh, cook it, see what we could elevate it with. Let's get it going. Okay, can we get this back into a simmer? A simmer? Yeah, so I wanted so to... So that four. So let's boil it. Yeah. And then as soon as it starts boiling, we're just going to put it down to a simmer. Okay. And then I kind of want to see that bubbles still boil oh, okay. a little bit here. So, so, let's so put it... Higher? I don't know. Or back to boil? Higher, back to boil. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Wow, that works so fast. It does work fast. All right, so this is going to boil again. So we ready to see that going. Rosanna said, I am bubble boil. That's my niece's then, I guess. All right, so this is going to start to boil here. Mm -hmm. So this is what we call a boil. This is a rolling boil. Mm -hmm. And now what we want to do, because if you let this boil too much, then the water is going to leave, and then it won't be able to, the rice won't be able to absorb it. So I'm going to let this go, put it here. And now we want to put this down to a simmer. At three? At three is fine. So this okay. is going to go. And you could probably still see it's still bubbling a little bit, but not as much. And that's what we call a simmer. Perfect. And we're, we're going we're to keep track of this until all the barley absorbs the, uh, the, water? the water. Okay. And this is getting good to go. So from here, I'm going to add these peppers. Yeah, it smells so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, some of these peppers, we'll need to use all of them, I guess. And we're just going to cook these down a little bit more. This, this is just going to cook down. So I'm trying to multitask here. And we're, how many servings would this make, the frittata? For me, this is one. Oh, one serving. Okay. So the way I, the way I did all this, um, it's only four eggs, and I can eat that for breakfast. And then I'm not, I'm not a big eater throughout the day, so we're just making a nice light, light salad throughout the day, just a pick-me-up. Um, and then we're going to have dinner again. So you could definitely, if you wanted to, you make a bigger pan, you add more ingredients. Um, you have more eggs, but the point is I just want to show you. Okay. Right. So this is good. So yeah. So because I'm multitasking, I got you to boil those. We are. This is almost ready to go. In there. Yeah. So we're actually going to put this into a broil um, for about not even five minutes, and because we have light on, we can see it cook up. So okay. what I'm going to do now that this is nice and close, let's put this to a broil. That's it? That's good? it, yeah. Okay, good. It's good. Then I'm going to add these eggs in here, and then I had cheese. I'm oh, the cheese is in the fridge. Yeah, let's get that going. Yeah. And this is goat cheese. Okay, so this is goat cheese. It doesn't have to be goat cheese. It can be feta cheese. It can be cheddar cheese. It can be mozzarella if you want to make that at home. Nacho cheese. And it can be <laughs> nacho cheese. Not your cheese today. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just use this knife. I'm just going to cut this like this. I've never actually had goat cheese before. Really? Nope. So, for those watching, and if you have any kind of diet restrictions, then adapt. Adapt, right? So there's there's dairy, there's dairy cheese cheeses at the superstore. There's Daya, is it Daya? Do you know what it's called? Daya, the vegan cheese. Daya, the vegan cheese. So what I'm going to do here, put this down. So they're lactose. If you're less, that's right. Yeah, you know what it is? It's actually in goat cheese. The form of it is closer to breast milk than regular milk. milk. Yeah, the breast milk. The, the best, finest. <laughs> the, breast, the breast milk is, is goat cheese. And I'm just going to just put a little dollops in here. Here. Just little flavor bombs, pow. Well, I have to make my own sound effect, so, you know, pow. <laughs> pow, you know, boom. That's right there. Little flavor, little flavor nuggets. Okay, and this is ready to go. We're going to put this in the broil for about five minutes, not even. It's going to heat. Oh, how do I get in the broil? <laughs> oh, and just press start. Start. All right. And then I'm just going to put it down here. And then, OK. Boom. So let that go. Made that mess there. No big deal. OK, so then we're going to move on to lunch. So I, and there, if you could get me like a bowl. A bowl? OK. How many total calories do you think that is? For that? Yeah. 400. It's all eggs. There's no, all the, all the calories are going to be in the eggs. Um, there's no, there's going to be, I'm not saying you don't have to count the peppers or the onions. They add up, it's especially if you're like, you're really cutting it close. 
I'm just saying that there's like so little calories in this or in this that I'm not overly concerned about it. Or even the onions. Don't eat. So don't stress over the vegetable calories. Don't stress calories. over the vegetable calories. It's nothing. We, we encourage more vegetable mm -hmm. eating. Um, okay, so we've got a bowl. We have some arugula. I think it's uh, over here. We got some bloobs. Got some bloobs. So we're just gonna do this is my lunch. Do you want a bigger bowl or is this good? Is it bigger? Yeah, sure. Gail okay. from Synaptic Heating and Cooling. Gail from Synaptic. You know, we got a new uh, we got a new banner for you guys. I saw that. Looks good. Heating and cooling. Appreciate what you do. All right, so I'm just gonna grab a fistful of these guys. I like arugula because I think it has a nice like bitter taste and a little crunch. Kind of peppery, bite. I think. Yeah, and I like that. Okay, from here then. We, this is gonna eventually be boiled or uh, cooked in the oven. Okay. Right, we can really see it's starting to cook here. Right, look, that took two seconds. It's almost ready to go now. I could probably arguably take that out. This is okay. a good oven. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this plate actually. Let's get an oven mitt. Do you want me to take it up now then? Yeah, sure. Sure. Let's take it up, see how it goes. Oh, it's really fast. Yeah, it's really fast. Um, let's put it on here for now. Right there. There you go. It's not quite cooked. Not quite. Actually, okay. we're, gonna, we're gonna put this back a little bit longer, but you see it's pretty close. I see, right, yeah. yeah it's a little watery there, so Even let's put it back. Minute. All right. Okay. So the rugel salad, even less calories. I think this whole 142 container has about 120 calories. Let's see that they don't even do it. But my fitness pal will have this on there. And it's not, you could have, you could put a little bit of lemon juice in there, a little salt and pepper, a little olive oil, nice, nice, and then it'd be done. That's your lunch, you'll be full, full and you're not gonna eat anything. You'll be hungry in two minutes. So 300 calories? On the total, eggs? Total for the salad? For the salad, yeah, yeah, if, if that ish, because we're gonna get some goat cheese. So if you wanna just go, then I'm just gonna get a little bit of olive oil if you get that for me. Okay. I'm gonna get a little bit more goat cheese, not too much. Go just little flavor nuggets again. Um, for this kind of stuff, I don't mind using uh, feta cheese because feta cheese crumbles a little bit better than uh, than goat cheese. Goat cheese holds a lot of moisture. All right. Let's get a little pecans. I think I have some pecans over there. Oh, the pecans are here. You wanna you wanna open that up and throw them on? Sure. How many pecans? Probably like a, maybe a quarter cup of that. A quarter cup? Yeah. Okay. I'll let you do that. And just plop it on top? This guy. Yes, I think please. That's, the eggs are done. There it is. Now we're done. A little too long, but that's okay. So I'm just going to score the bottom here, lift this up a little bit. I'm right handed, so I can't do it that way. So what's everyone eating for Easter? Did they say? Nobody said. Nobody said. Got 45 people. All right, guys. We're laying in bed still. Laying in bed. <laughs> no days off, guys. No days off on eating. All right. So what I'm gonna do is like this. Wow. And there you go, guys. Not cooked all the way. Pretty dang close. That's a frittata, packed with veggies. You could do whatever veggies you want on here, guys. If you like, if you like different kind of peppers, if you like more onions, if you like red onions, if you like different kind of mushrooms, that's it. This will fill you up. That's breakfast. It fills me up, and I'm jacked. <laughs> okay. so, so there you go. Put this in here. And plop this in the oven. That could go in the oven now. That is going to go into the when it's ready. Let me check this up in a while. Still need more time. Blueberries over here. Here's a fun fact. Um, blueberries have a lot of antioxidants. Um, a lot of the antioxidants are actually contained in the skin. The skin and the color. Every, every color you see has a different antioxidants. Chlorophyll is anything green, right? Uh, quercetin is anything yellow, like this. And quercetin, there's a lot of, there's a lot of like, new studies showing that quercetin, uh, the, the supplement, um, which is actually like a pigment, and antioxidant, is really good for things like immune system. I need to have a lot of that. Um, so that's why, that's why I like to incorporate a lot of color into everything I cook. Um, there's gonna be orange in there as well. But the main nutrient in here 
is best absorbed when it's slightly warmed up. So what you could actually do is you could throw this in the microwave for maybe 30 seconds. And okay. then it gets a little warm, it still tastes good, and there you go. Okay, from here, I like to put a little bit of salt, get those flavors out there. A little bit of pepper. And then I'm just gonna do cap size of olive oil. Just a cap size. Yeah, I'll do another. Wow. God, I'm telling you. It shows you don't need that much. You don't need that much. You just want to get a little wet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. So we're gonna, then we're gonna splash a little bit of that on there. I'm just gonna take this so here. A tip for lemons, you wanna make sure that you roll your lemons to get as much juice as possible. There you go. Or you can always just pop it in the microwave too. But <laughs> Is I that like true? To, you can pop it in the microwave? You could, but then I don't wanna waste the lemon, right? So I like to roll it. I feel like I'm working out or something. All right, she's gonna cut that up. All right, there you go. And do you need a fork? I'm just gonna do this. Okay. There it is, not too much. We're gonna use this for tonight's arugula salad. Right there, and that's usually what I eat. If I want more arugula salad, I throw them on there. If I want more blueberries, I throw them on there because there's nothing dense in there, mm -hmm. right? And I'm, like I said, I am not a big day eater. If I just need something to like nibble on, this is all I need. And that's just who I am. So if you need more throughout the lunch, then we're going to make something else. If you, this makes a good side as well. If you want the chicken breast, then that's no problem. You can add some chicken. You can add some barley. You can add some shrimp. Uh, we're going to add some sweet potatoes. That's going to really fill you up. All right. So moving on. I love this. I love the mess. Okay. So this is lunch? That's going to be lunch. lunch? Oh. We're just going to wait for the, oh, right, the, the sweet potatoes. potatoes to finish cooking. We're going to throw them on there. And that's, that's more than enough. Kay. This is going to be your breakfast here. We're just so fast, you know, we're so <laughs> ahead of the game. There it is. And then for dinner, um, we're going to be cooking some shrimp. Okay. The barley, if you remember from the beginning, is for dinner. So this one needs a little more time. I click on this and then, yeah. hey, there yeah. it is. There you go. So as you can see, we need a little more time there. Once, uh, once there's less water. And then there's more, there's more, uh, the, the barley gets a little more swollen. I'm gonna add that on there. So let's get this going a little bit. That should be there. Okay, so now we're gonna warm up some shrimp. We're gonna cook it up. And seasoning is your friend for this guy. We're gonna add some, some, you can add some Cajun, you can add some garlic salt, salt and pepper. I like paprika. I like a little kick with mine. So I use some cayenne or chili, and that's it. These guys, um, Come frozen, and here's, look at this. It's 122 grams, that's almost half of this bag. 90 calories, 20 grams. You can't even find a protein shake that's that dense in protein so compared to calories. 20 grams and only one gram of fat. So let's, let's do some math here. Every gram of protein has four calories. So this has one, so if I look at the calories here, if I have one gram, four calories, right? So, that, so if I have 20, that's 80 calories. This whole thing has 90 calories. What does that say? This is all protein, bro. It's all protein. There's one gram of fat, that's okay. And what I like about it, it's, uh, it's fish, right? So there's some benefits from fish that you don't get from, from the, the beef that you're normally used to eating. Well, too much. So let's lower this down maybe to five. To five, okay. So yeah, you're, you're, you're coming too fast. So why, why I think it's important to eat all these kind of different foods, um, if you're a vegan, no problem. We, we can adjust for that. But, you, but the, the fish, the omega-3s in vegan foods aren't as good because there's three different kinds of omega-3s. There's DHA, there's e, uh, EPA, and there's ALA. Alpha leononic acid uh, needs to convert to DHA or EPA for your body to use, and that conversion is really poor. Right? So if you, if you are a vegan, I would suggest finding a really high quality, really powerful omega-3 supplement because the flaxseed and other nuts have poor conversion rates to the omega-3s that you want, right? And so the fish oil, so fishes have a lot of that and that's what's really important, right? So that's why I want to use fish in here as times you can, shrimp, uh, basil, what's that? What, no, what's that? Uh, starts with the B, guys. Bassa? Bassa. Okay. Bassa, <laughs> cod, salmon's really good and you eat that, right? So eggs, that's on it. If you, use, if you want to buy free run eggs with omega-3, this is how they get omega-3s into their, their, their eggs. They feed the chicken flaxseed. 
And what did I say about flaxseed? They have poor conversion. It's all ALA for the omega 3s. So the chicken's going to eat the flaxseed. They're going to have omega 3s, <laughs> and then they're going to put it into the egg. And that <laughs> egg. The, I'm, I'm almost done. I'm almost done, guys. No, it's good. I'm I like done. it. I like the it. The egg. Yeah. This is so important. <laughs> the eggs are not going to have any omega threes. You're paying more for nothing. Oh, okay. So there you have it. Don't spend your money on omega yeah. three eggs. There, there you go. go. There you just go. Now eat the good. fish. Brown eggs and white eggs. <laughs> I think. I think that's just depend on the chicken. It's the chicken. It's the color. chicken, dude. Yeah. What about free run eggs versus regular eggs? Uh, I mean. Actually, is there a, a, like, if you care, <laughs> I don't really care. Well, I saw a documentary. Yep. Um, they're able to label free run eggs as free run if the chickens run for five minutes. Oh, but really? Yep. I if they it. run for five minutes, and that's I it. So it. Don't and waste your money. There's a lot of tricks to the trade. There is. There's a lot of tricks to the trade. Mm -hmm. What do you keep doing that for? <laughs> what do you want from me? What do you mean? You want me to talk, <laughs> want me to talk more? Jeez. <laughs> so we, we got more to cook here. What we could do in the meantime, just kind of get in there. Let's get a. Let's get me. One of these guys. Okay. Let's just Amelia. Amelia is uh, one of my best friends, actually. She's uh, she's my first roommate. So Amelia, what are you making for Easter? What do you think of my cooking skills? Sarah, <laughs> Sarah Elizabeth. That's Sarah. Sarah. Okay. That's my friend. Oh, she has no last name. I don't know, cause she's hiding from people for no reason. <laughs> like, like who's Maybe looking at you? It's her last name. Yeah, right. Friend. No, that's Elizabeth. Her, other friend. her, her name is yeah, for her other friend. <laughs> I wouldn't blame her. I wouldn't blame her. <laughs> Sarah Elizabeth is uh, is Sarah Sarah. Let's get some salt in here. Huh? I'm gonna oh, get you too. Some salt? Yeah, some oh, salt. I love salt. Let's get some salt in here. Is that enough? Nope. Okay, good. Let's get some. Let's get some pepper in here. Yeah. Let's get some pepper. You have any oregano flakes? Anything in there right now? Any? Doesn't matter, guys. Did you chili flakes? Chili flakes. Chili flakes? Chili, chili flakes on here. Okay. And how many? How much? Man, you're the. This is your kitchen. You can toss them on. I'm just going to roll them around. OK. That's all good. Right. That's good. All right. So we're just going to roll. These guys are pretty damn close. Not quite, but Not pretty quite. close. So we're going to roll that around there. So Rick wants to know why are all your roommates female? <laughs> That's a great question. That's why right. are they all female? <laughs> <laughs> Can't have too many pigs in the kitchen. <laughs> it's going to dirty the place up. <laughs> All right, that's pretty close, guys. We're going to put it in this bake, so we're going to put it right there. How much oil did you put in there? I put just a spray. Nothing. There you go. You're a eating spray. all you can, you can even think about it. You can have like six more cubes because you saved so much on the oil there. Six more cubes of potatoes there because I go. used this. There. All right, so now that's pretty damn close. Let's get started on to the shrimp. So uh, can I get a pan? And a pan? Warm okay. that up. He wants to know when he can come over and eat. <laughs> Dude, open door policy. <laughs> open door policy. Back door entry only. What's that? Back door entry. Back door entry. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Fun times crew only. <laughs> All right, very good. So we got the shrimp. Shrimp has a lot of moisture as well, so we want to put that a little bit more on a higher heat. Um, I put butter in for flavor. Butter? But because we put no oil in there, we put no oil in here, what the heck not, right? So we're going to throw some butter in there. And how much butter? A little cube, a little dollop, a little teaspoon there. Okay, I like lots of butter, put but in. I'll, I'll just put a little bit then. Like, okay, I'll put more than that. Yeah, put more than that. Let's be generous on the butter. There we go. What's Rick eating tonight? Rick, what are you eating tonight? What's for Easter? Mila, what are you eating for tonight for Easter? Sarah, what are you eating? Sir, I was telling everyone how I felt bad about not wanting to go to your family dinner, but I'll go. I guess I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is we're going to put the shrimp on here. Everything's going to get cooked together. Okay. Um, 300, cal 300 grams of shrimp fits my macros for today, so I'm going to throw it on there. So I'm going to throw it on there. It's going to be a little wet there. There it is. And this is where we also want to season right now. We're going to put some salt and pepper on that guy. So this is a good opportunity for you guys, if you want to, if you have any other questions about like what you should cook, how you should cook it, can I eat this and this together, this is a good time to go. Maybe we can get another video going on what you guys want. And then all that moisture is going to go into the air, it's going to go nice and hot here. Um, and then we're going to be ready to go. Once it turns nice and pink, we're good to go. I see that these ones don't have any shelves, so we're good to eat them right away. 
I looked at it actually. I Did you? Ma I made sure it was de-veined and um, peeled because nice. I didn't want to do it right. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's right. So let's get it. Can we get it a little hotter actually? Hotter? Sure. Okay. Let's make it. Let's put it at seven. Yeah. Put it at seven. You okay. should, I want to hear this. Oh, the sizzle. I want to let's hear the sizzle. Eight, then. But this gets really hot fast. Yeah. So this is what I mean by simmer. If you want to, can you zoom in there? Yeah, this one's a bit of a, a bit more of a rolling, but this is not quite boiling, boiling, but it's simmering a little bit. And this is going to help it cook more evenly. Rick said chicken thighs. Yeah. He's having uh, cute potatoes. Sure. And four Oreo mints. <laughs> that sounds yummy. Hey, Rick, Rick, what are you eating throughout the day that you can only afford four Oreo thins? <laughs> you're, you're, you're sneaking something in there. Oh. <laughs> Sarah says, do you want to come? Because you know she's bringing cookies. Is she bringing cookies? What kind of cookies are you making, Sarah? Are the cookies you made yesterday? I'll skip them. Homemade cookies? Homemade cookies? Yeah, she makes them. Oh. Come on. Jeez, you don't even know. Sarah's a baker. Remember, remember when I came into the gym at 216? Waiting at 206 today? Yeah, yeah. Um, just because of Sarah's cookies. How's that, Mary? Oh. It needs about five more minutes. Five more minutes. And then you can see here, it's starting to, it's starting to get a little pink here. So this is butter. It's gonna, the butter is infusing with all of this. We have some salt and pepper. Let's get some garlic salt in here, actually. I know what that is, so I'll grab it. Jerome, what are you having today for Easter oh, yeah. dinner? Um, I, I did some marination, uh, marinate some barbecue. There it is. Barbecue pork. So okay. I'll be, um, I'll be putting that on the barbecue. There. So it's any not thin Any greens, Jerome? Any greens? Um, <laughs> <laughs> eggplant. Uh, eggplant. Uh, eggplant. No, no greens. No greens. Purple. Purple. <laughs> there it is, guys. That's going to cook. It's all protein right here. We're almost done. Let's get the plate going. We could probably start with the arugula salad. I actually counted all my macros to fit this whole thing for the day. So if you want more for lunch, you can have more for lunch. Uh, that's probably not for me for lunch. I like to have a big dinner. So I'm going to throw most, if not all, of this into a plate. I might actually just season this first right now with a little bit of olive oil and lemon. Let's get that in there. There it goes. We're going to add some cut more of olive oil. Hugo, Yo. the audience wants to know about your strawberry pancit. Strawberry <laughs> 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 pancit. <laughs> yeah, there's not. <laughs> what is the strawberry pancit? <laughs> uh, well, it's pancit, mm -hmm. but with strawberries in it. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's a rice noodle dish you guys with had strawberries. That? <laughs> you guys haven't had that before? <laughs> You know what, go to Jollibee's, you'll find it there. <laughs> <laughs> you'll find it at Jollibee's. All right, guys, that's pretty much what I like to have with my salad. I, I really love this salad. I went, okay, I, went to, I went to a restaurant in Hamilton, and I had this, it was like one of the best restaurants there, and I had like a steak salad, and this is all they did to the salad. And I paid like 40 bucks for that meal. So there you go, guys, pay me 40 bucks. And what did you add to it? You just this added- lemon, salt, pepper. If I wanted to, I had some Parmesan cheese. Okay. And then they put it on top of a steak. Lemon, salt, and pepper, and that's it. That's it. Forty dollars at a restaurant. Yeah. Like the whole meal was good. Rick is definitely hitting the bait pen. He says, <laughs> "Go not guys. Go not guys. Go not, not guys." Go not guys. That's what he said. What does that mean? Ask him to clarify. Rick, what does that mean? Go not guys. And ask him how hard he's hitting the bait pen. Yeah. What time is it even? He's been hitting the vape. There's no, there's no time restriction for his vape pen, huh? No, not while I'm quarantined. Okay. So especially in time, like I said, times like these, I like to have a big meal. Sarah, what did I have for dinner last night? If you could, if you could comment what I had for dinner last night, so they could really know what I like to eat for dinner. Okay. And how many cookies did he? No, have? no cookies. I had no cookies. <laughs> That's because he waited today. I wait. <laughs> Yeah, no cookies before weighing. So guys, if you really want to add some stuff to this, you can I you can add some you can add some goat cheese. You can add some parmesan cheese. I like to have like a, a bit of a pungent cheese with this kind of salad. There you go, it's gonna squeeze this out. 
There you go. Okay, I think our potatoes are good. Right, the potatoes are good, then you yes. can just take them out and put them what on. What are the greens you're using for right now? The greens? This is, this is arugula. You tuned in late? Yeah. What have these been tuning in the whole time? But you hit that weight pan too many times. That's perfect. Okay, That's so perfect. we just throw that on top on top of the uh, just to finish the lunch. And do I put all of it on? Yeah. All right. Right now, that's vegan. It's vegan. Not vegan. Well, there's cheese, cheese on it. Oh, so it's right. vegetarian. So vegetarian. Okay, so Sarah said you had seven eggs, pound of ground beef. It was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Is that legit? That's legit. Seven eggs? That is seven eggs. I didn't even put it in the plate. I just ate it in the cast iron. Seven eggs and a pound of ground beef. Weighed in a 206. Nice. <laughs> so what did you eat throughout the day then? Nothing. Because that's quite a bit of food. That's wow. nothing. That was 1,200 calories. Yeah. That's 1,200. So that was it? Just one meal? No, I snacked a little bit afterwards. Uh oh. But like, imagine, if I, if I don't eat, I'm good at it, right? I, eat, I drink coffee, I drink tea, I could go without eating. And you're never as hungry as you think you are. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what, do you think, what do you think the reason why we eat? Because we're bored. Because we're bored. Mindless eating, right? Yeah, exactly. Especially so, during quarantine. You're not hungry, you're just bored. Exactly. So that's what we want to focus on here. So guys, these are pretty close. I'm gonna let them saute in the oil and butter a little longer and then just let that in ready to plates. So like I said, I, I I'll post all the calories of every meal on here. I eat around 2,000 calories a day and this fits. What we could do, this almost needs a little more time, we can get ready for a snack. So a snack is gonna be a protein pancake with some whipped cream. Okay. Um, all I brought was the whipped cream. Okay. So, so you guys, I, so I, I, there's two ways I do this. I either have a banana, an egg, and uh, a protein powder, mm -hmm. or I do equal parts flour, equal parts protein powder, and then an egg and a little bit of water. Are you just saying that because you didn't bring it? Yeah, I'm saying that. I'm saying do that. We, have we don't have white flour, but we have a banana and we have an egg. There you go. We have, uh, because we're live, guys. Because we are flour. live. Okay, so, so let's get a bowl. A bowl. And you, is it uh, just any flavor of protein powder? Yep. Hugo, what are five recommendations you would tell somebody to do when they are bored instead of eating? All right, well, are you at work? Are you, okay, let's say, if no one's working right now, five recommendations you could do. Um, you read a book. You, um, what am I doing? I honestly, I, one of my favorite things to do when I'm not working now these days is cooking, so I, I'm a, there's unlimited resources on YouTube. Powder. I'm telling you right now. You either YouTube, you call up a friend, you, you call up a friend, you watch YouTube you for a video that you like to watch, you go work out, you read a book, and another one, you eat. <laughs> not, not eating. <laughs> All time eating. Huh? All time eating. <laughs> <laughs> you got the 7 a.m. workouts. You got the 7 a.m. workouts. You, you got, yeah, guys, you had a 7 a.m. workout. You have a podcast at 9.15. Sometimes I'm on, I'm on it. I hear it's funny. Um, you have a 215 workout. Read a book. You read a book, you watch YouTube, like you watch cooking videos on YouTube, you watch uh, woodwork, you can make a deck off YouTube videos. You read a book. Um, time. What's that? Poo time. Poo time. Bathroom time, personal how time. Much are you, how much are you pooping? <laughs> how much are you scrolling? Yeah, okay, so these guys are almost done, ready to go. So I'm actually just 45 trying. minute dump. Where is <laughs> it really is yesterday. Up eggs. <laughs> up. All right, guys, gonna go right here. I'm gonna get all these. What I'm actually doing is terrible. Don't use a nonstick pan with a fork. You want to scratch up that pan. Take the rules you learn at home and bring them out everywhere. Okay. Okay, because we got time. I'm gonna rinse this off. Scram, bro. I'm gonna rinse this off. Larry, can you cut me a little bit more of onions and mushroom? Yes. Like the way you did before? Yeah. Because we're live. Got time? Let's, let's flavor our barley. So, what she's gonna do is she, we're gonna go back to sauteing uh, mushrooms and onion. And when that's sauteed, we are going to add it to our barley because this barley is getting pretty dang close. We have two questions from the audience. Boris wants to know what's Hugo's 
cooking catchphrase. <laughs> Dave, while you're thinking on what? that, Rick wants to know, Neri, does it take you 45 minutes to take a dump? No, I don't have the time to take to spend 45 minutes to dump. I don't think I'd even want to. That's not even good for you. No, Rick, it's like two minutes. <laughs> These are my favorite salad. <laughs> Thanks for asking, Rick. <laughs> Carlos, Carlos' bracelet broke in the middle of a workout. Oh, yeah. And I left out these little pellets. <laughs> his bracelet? Yeah. Oh, no. I thought, I thought he had... Um, little pellets. <laughs> I thought he was holding rabbit poop in his pocket. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your cat phrase you wrote? Nice, nice. nice what do you nice. mean to do like that? Nice, nice. Is this enough? Or more? No, let's get more in there. More? Yeah, okay. more in there. That's not my catchphrase. That's Brad. That's Brad Leone's catchphrase. I'm into live. On Bon Appetit. Ashley Cap. Ashley said that she's having prime rib. Wait, say say your last name. Uh, <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> Hi, Ashley. Find it. Is this enough or yep. more? Yep. So okay. let's saute that. Oh, saute it. You got it. Okay. Ashley Kapner. Okay. Chiboti. 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 She's having a. She's having prime rib. Wants to know one recommendation you can give her for this prime rib. Yeah, I want to know that. I want to know that kind of cut. How are you going to cook it? Are you cooking? Um, are you grilling it? Are you pan frying it? Are you putting it in the oven? I will say right now, um, marinate it. Let's get some marinade, and some marinade can be as simple as just salt, pepper, butter. Actually, don't don't put the butter in right now. You want to put the butter in when you're fat, when you're pan frying it. So that's what I'll say. That's the recommendation right now. If you're gonna use butter or an oil, don't put it in the marinade yet. Unless it's like a whole wet marinade, then you, you, you can probably put that on there. But if you think of butter, you don't want the butter to f infuse with that, uh, that pine rib before it starts to cook. Trust me, it flavors. I, I don't know the science behind that, but it's gonna taste way better if you let it cook with it instead. So I got this, and what I do actually, I throw an egg in there. This is this is uh, this is an impromptu way of cooking because it's live. <laughs> it's live, and I'm just gonna. Yeah. Okay, I will take care no, of no, that. That's good. You're doing good. We're gonna mash. We're gonna mix this all in. We're gonna mash it in. It's gonna take some time. We want to mash these uh, bananas in here. It's gonna make a nice kind of gooey mess. Rosanna wants to know when you're going to cook this meal for her. <laughs> I taught her how to cook the meal. I taught her, she's like, she's like, oh my god, this, right, this salad is the best salad I've ever had. And I told her how to do it. Never seen her do it once. <laughs> there you go. See, that's going to go. It gets a little bit too creamy, so we're going to add a little bit of water. You can add milk if you want. So once we get all that banana crushed, Crush. Because the egg is there, egg is gonna it's gonna fry well. The banana is gonna give it nice moisture. What are you guys cooking for tonight? Uh, we we're planning to eat this food. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. This is it. This is we are waiting for you, Hugo. <laughs> we're, we're <laughs> Do I season this? Yeah, salt and pepper that. Salt and pepper. This is my secret okay. way of. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me a break. This isn't even and I just This <laughs> isn't even <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get in this getting right in there. Yeah, this thing you're you're hogging the recipe. No. Well, she watched the video now, so now she knows how to do it. And that's it. Checkmate. Uh, Rosanna is my, one of my older sister, and she's pretty funny. Uh, she always tries to checkmate me. Never works. Rosanna, one embarrassing thing that people <laughs> never tell us. <laughs> we already know he pooed his pants a couple times, so what else you got? <laughs> I wonder who that, you know, Vicky, Vicky might have, or Boris might have an embarrassing story. If you, if you could think of one on top of the head. And who are Vicky and Boris? So Vicky, uh, Vicky is my youngest sister, okay. the youngest of all of us, yeah. and uh, Boris is the husband. Is this for the pancake? Yes. All right, good. 
And is this done now, or do you want this still cooked a little bit more? A little bit more, and, it's gonna, and then we can just put it aside for now. This will go in the barley Got when it. the barley gets uh, loses more water. Okay. All right. So let's get a little bit of spray. Spray. Spray olive oil. Whatever. There you and go. Thank you. And then yeah. how hot do you want it? Hot. Hot? Yeah. Like really, really hot? Uh, right no, actually, no, I don't. Okay, I'll, I'll put, put it at seven. eight. Seven? That's a lot, right? I, I would put more. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Then, it's probably not, uh, it's not hot enough yet, so you're not going to get the sizzle. It's going to expand. And what were the ingredients for this? It was the protein egg, powder, egg. egg. Oh, I didn't even put the protein powder. Oh yeah, I did put, you, put you it put, in there. Yeah. I did, yeah. So protein powder, eggs, and banana. And I squish it up, put it in there. It's gonna be sweet by itself, to be honest, but then I also have some low-cal whipped cream right here as well. Like, so we have a scale here if you want. 15 grams of this light ingredient. That's a lot, you're laughing. So we're gonna let this, we're gonna let this cook a little bit more. And that one could probably be uh, turned off. Off, okay. That guy could be turned off. There you go. Now we're starting to really swell here. Now they're, now they're really plumping up and getting really swollen. And that's what we want. It's getting close. <clears throat> Alright guys. Um, so the barley is going to go right here. Let's get a plate for that, uh, that snack. A plate? Sure. Please. So the other kid is still sleeping, huh? No, he's on his phone watching. Oh, nice. How old is that? Uh, oh, this is uh, this is Kai. That's Kai, and he's one. He's one, and then Jet. And then Jet is um, in the office, he, and he's three. He's three in the he's office. Working. He's, he's working, working yeah. sitting on his dad's chair. Always, always <laughs> grinding. Yes. Always grinding. Okay, let's get a. These guys. I'm not gonna use this one actually. You have one with more flex? Um, oh, right here. Oh, you, okay, going right here. So it needs more time to cook. Put this one back. So right there. So who cooks more, Jerome, you or your wife? Uh, both, we both cook. Who's the better cook? I am. <laughs> does she know that? Uh, yeah, of course. She does know she that. She does know that. That's good. And what do you make her, Jerome? Uh, Sinigang. Sinigang? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get Jerome on here. Yeah. We do. <laughs> you have to show us how to make Sinigang yes. because I, I keep hearing this. Yeah. We just wanna learn. Yeah, 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 we wanna know what is this dish. Guys, I have a good pancit recipe. Pancit? Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, some strawberries. Pancit or pancit? Pancit. 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 Yeah. Pancit. Pancit. So I'm being a little too eager with this guy. Let it cook a little more. Yeah. Yeah, let that cook a little more. But it smells nice and banana and nice and sweet. <laughs> this guy's getting nice and close. How much water was I supposed to put in there? Uh, if you did half a cup, you would do a cup and a half. I think I which did. Which that. I think you did. I think I did. Or it might have been two cups. There, that's how much gonna cook. And Hugo, how many calories is um, this entire meal? All entire these meals together? Work? Yes. 2,000. 2,000 yeah. for the entire day. Yeah. 2,000 for the entire day, that's right. Mm -hmm. That's what we want. That's what we want. There we go. Right there. <clears throat> Where's the plate? Oh, it's over here. So we'll get another one in there, but this is the idea. Yeah, right there. Let's get a little more oil in there. I'm just gonna throw the rest in here. And this is usually, this is honestly, this is one of my go-to for snacks. I think it's sweet, I think it's fast, I think it's low-cal, and other than the protein powder, which I, I'm okay with protein powder, it's, it's technically like a supplement or a fake food. It's, it just makes a lot of sense to hit those protein goals. It's cheaper at the end of the day. 
And other than that, there's bananas and eggs. Those are other two real foods. And this is pretty versatile too because you don't have to use vanilla protein powder. You, you don't have to use any yeah, chocolate or yeah, a exactly strawberry. Exactly, whichever one you like. I like vanilla. I like you it like, very simple. See, I like it. I like that way too. So, what kind of ice cream do you like? I like chocolate and vanilla, but not together. I like it separate. I like Neapolitan. Is that what no, it's I don't like Neapolitan. The strawberry doesn't go well with it. I think they're all okay. Jerome, what's your favorite ice cream? Yeah, Jerome, what is your favorite? Uh, chocolate. Chocolate? chocolate? Yeah. chocolate. Well, hey man, don't, well, hey, why are you panicking about that answer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Look, 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 look a little more. Okay, so what we're going to do with this onion is when this gets a lot more when the oil or the... Let's see. Right there, let's get this going. When this uh, is pretty much ready to go, how do I... Can you get this on the seven? Oh, this one here? Yeah. And how, do you, how... Seven? Seven? Okay. Let's get this going here. You know, I think I put too much water in this. That's okay. So what we could do okay. is we could uh, can drain some. We could drain it. We okay. could, so if you want to get a strainer, this one might be good to go actually. Yeah, if you want to get a strainer. Okay. Excuse me, Jerome. Yeah, yeah, this is good to go. Let's get a strainer. I have this one or I have a yeah. slightly bigger one. Yeah, it's good to go. Okay, so let's um uh, we have to put it down, the water down the sink. Okay, then let's go and get this strainer here. This is probably better. Let's put this guy back on. And just turn it off and strain it. Yep, turn it off and strain it. And then we're gonna, and then that strained barley is gonna go right here. And then we have flavored barley. And you can I do this, see. You could do this with rice. You could do this with any kind of carb that you like to do. Um, like I said, I like barley a lot more because there's a lot more nutrition in it. So if it's a little wet, that's fine, because we're going to put this on hot, and it's going to evaporate. Okay. There it is. And let's get that spatula back. Nope, not that one. This one. And then this is going to infuse the flavors a little bit. There you go. And then we have mushroom and onion barley. Just like that. So I'm going to turn... You want to flip that? Oh, flip this? That's the thing about the... I don't want to flip the turtle. <laughs> okay. This, uh, that'd be a good do it. It's a little toasty. It's a, a little, little toasty. toasty. That's okay. But this is what happens when you cook with protein powder. You just need to make sure that you keep an eye on it. So that's going to be good to go. There it is. Look at this. This is half a cup of barley. The coconut. There it is, guys. That's dinner. Tell me that's not going to make you full. Right here. That's it. Blueberries. And the trick, the trick is to just let it fall where it falls, guys. <laughs> that's that's the true. That's the arts of arts. You do nothing else. You do nothing else. That is our snack. We're just snacks. So now, guys, we're done. We got three dinners. And there you have it. We 2,000 have calories. If you, we look at it at a price standpoint, we used a lot of the same ingredients we did for all the meals. Assuming you have those ingredients, then you know they're going to use them. Then you can have this throughout. The, and like I said, onion, garlic, mushrooms. You can use them a million different ways. So we got 2,000 calories, four different meals, and we're done. Do we eat it now? Let's taste it. Let's taste it now? Right. I actually want to try this barley. Try this first year. I haven't tried it. barley before. Really? No, this is my first time. There you go. It's very interesting. It's a different kind of texture. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the texture of barley. This is my favorite part of the show. <laughs> I don't know what it what is. What did you but do? Everybody does all the work and I get to just What do you what do you do other than that, you know? <laughs> And this is the simple salad. Simple salad. Mm. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. so, right? Mm. That's it. We got some blueberries with some flavor here. A couple more of these. And these were all quarantined before we all do dove into it together? Mm hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I wanted. Oh. 
The yeah. pancake with the whipped cream. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. Shrimp's amazing. Shrimp's good. High protein. Mm. High protein. <laughs> and there you have it, guys. Oh. Happy Easter. Happy, Happy Easter. Easter. From the Fit Fam to you. If you like this video, please comment, like, and share. And we will see you guys on the blue. Oh, sure, whatever. Fantastic. I do like the salad. I like the matter restaurant. Mm hmm. Mm.